the dry boat. Awesome device. Look, there, there are lots of different RAID systems out there. Um, Synology um, is one that I can think of. There's a number of others. I, I chose Drobo because they have a unique way of managing their RAID systems. All RAID drives are the same in, in principle. But, it's to, but where Drobo are different, they have developed their own software to handle the drives. Now, if you look here, so the, if you look, one, two, three, four, five, and you've got all these green lights, they're telling me that these drives right, are all fine. There's nothing wrong with them, and they're working. Now, these blue lines here, so these blue lights here, they indicate how much capacity is there. You know, we're getting up there. So let's have a look. So we'll go to the actual dashboard. And we open it up. And in this dashboard, I can actually see the drobos that are on the system. I actually have two drobos. I have another one, which I'll show you later on. It's up there. It's, it's, a, it's a, um, a, what do you call it, NAS drive. Um, it's a network um, attached storage device, as distinct from this, which is a, uh, a, as I said, a Thunderbolt drive, which I can access for doing work on. And so... Um, the Drobo end. That's the actual network attached drive. And look, if you want, we can actually we can I can check all this out. So the capacity for that at the moment I have um, a total of seven terabytes, and it's about half full. Okay. And status, you can actually see the drives, individual drives. You can check to see whether they're good, how they're going. So we'll go back to here. So let's have a look at this one. This is that drive there. My capacity at the moment, I have a total of 14 terabytes, and I have, I've used up 10, or 10.97, and we've got 3.5 terabytes left. Now, I want you to understand something. That's 14 terabytes in total at the moment with, let's have a look at the volumes. Sorry, let's have a look at the, um, the drives. We have one, two, three, six terabyte drives. That's one, two, three, and these two drives are still two terabyte. And I've had, I've got this system set up so that only if one drive fails, the system will just continue on. And if it does fail, it'll go red. So what I'm going to do today, I've decided that I'm going to replace that two terabyte drive with another, another six. If you go to drobo.com and resources calculator capacity and mine are part of the five beta systems you watch now if we grab so at the moment I've got six six oh sorry not eight put six and six and I have two and two. That fourteen point five two. Well, point four nine. It's fourteen and a half terabytes. Now, if I go and put a six terabyte into that one, I will now jump up to eighteen terabytes. But that will also give me see protection, right? I've got literally one drive can die on this system and everything's safe. And you know, I'll carry a spare drive and if anything happens I just whip this one out and put it in. Now, saying that, it does take a time, it does take some time to rebuild. And I'm going to show you that in a minute because I'm about to do it. Uh, but as I said, this this calculator makes it easy. This is another another factor that I love about Drobo. They um, they give you these resources, so you can you can work out what you want to do. And if you can have a look at this system, um, I have a, an overhead, so I can go up to about 32 terabytes in that system. So let's go about. We'll shut that down. Well, actually, let's leave that on. Open the dashboard because I'm about to 
I'm going to uh, replace one of the drives and I think we'll do, we'll show you what happens. Let's do it. So, you come to here and you just literally pull at the bottom here, pull it off. That's another thing I love about it, it's magnetic. And in there it actually has instructions on the lights and so forth. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Now, let's get our drive ready. I'm using the Toshiba N300. Uh, I've done my research on it and I, I feel that it's a, it's a good, reliable drive for these systems. Oh, sugar, nearly dropped it. Oh, Ooh, that's scary. Okay, so there's our drive. Now we don't have to format, we don't have to do anything. You can just put this straight in and it will do, the driver will do everything. So let's do it. Let's watch what happens. Okay, now notice the lights are all now flashing yellow. There's a reason for that, and if you look on, on the dashboard, it's also giving me the same warning. Uh, it's telling me that something's happened to one of these drives. Okay, now I'm going to put this drive straight in here. There we go. And that's it, that's all you have to do. Now that system is going to sit there for some time, and I'll be honest with you, it could take, could take up to eight hours. Uh, because what it's doing now, it's formatting the disk, and it's starting to, it'll move the data around, and, and balance everything out. I mean, I'm, I, I'm no expert on the, Techni technicalities there. Okay, see that? So it's telling it at the moment that drive, right? Because it's not formatted, it means that there's a that as far as the system's concerned at the moment, right? There's a dead drive in there, but that will change. So don't worry about it. Uh, okay. So, in essence, I will come back. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave that now, and I uh, will come back. <laughs> I'm going to so it give, tell, gives you warnings. It says, so, actually, here we go. So, so you notice we've now gone from the red, and all of these things are flashing, right? Orange. That means that what has happened is that the drive has been formatted, and the data is now in the process of being rebalanced. And now we just have to wait. So I think I'll come back at a later point and um, tell you all about it then and show you just how much capacity we got using the, uh, the dashboard. It is now 12 hours later, roughly. And uh, the driver has finished doing its uh, thing and we're back. And as you can see, we now have 18 terabytes in total and um, I have seven terabytes left. I've got 10 terabytes, or 10.9, almost 11 terabytes in, in data storage that I'm using at the moment, and I've got about seven terabytes left for the moment. And the interesting thing is, um, something happened. Well, when I came back in this morning uh, and uh, went to access the Drobo, a little box popped up onto the screen which uh, in essence asked me do I wish to format the new drive and I thought huh so I stopped and I did a bit of research and I've discovered something which I had forgotten about there are two types of Drobos. One is um, a NAS, which is a networked attached storage, and then this type, which they call a DAS, which is direct access storage. And as a result, the software handling the RAID does things differently. 
uh, with this it's tied into the file system that's on my Mac when I first set this up, now this is an older Drobo and this probably won't happen with newer ones but I had a 16 terabyte limit maximum limit that you have to set which I set on that machine and I'd forgotten all about it that Drobo is nearly 7 years old so I'd forgotten all about it since then I've updated the software on that Drobo many times and the new software allows me to go up to 32 terabytes but because I had set the limit at 16 now with the new drive I had enough space to allocate a secondary um, storage location so in essence it's, it's mounting a different drive so I now have two 16 terabyte drives so if I go into Finder and there we go that's the original one CE Drobo-01 and CE Drobo-02 which there's nothing on there at the moment I mean as far as the Drobo is concerned it's sharing all that but that's what I'm seeing on my desktop so I just thought I'd mention that because <laughs> uh, you may run into this problem especially if you've got an older Drobo um, that being said it is now finished and um, I'm a happy man all I have to do now is get another drive one more six terabyte drive to finish it off to replace the two at the bottom and then I'll have about I think I think it's around 24 terabytes of usable storage with the ability to have one drive redundancy so I might just uh, finish up here uh, and until next time thank you for watching and see you later